Okay, so so far it seems to be working, but uh, the main problem is not really at the beginning, is it at the tail end? Uh, it doesn't go past like this or this. If you can see my buttons, uh, uh, drain and, and rinse, those are the two problemed areas. Another problem there is that this thing is sticking. And this there's no, there's no dirt there. You don't see any crust or anything there. Uh, so I use, uh, where is this one? This tip over here of this spoon uh, is the only one that seems to cut it when I, I press it in. And it does seem a little wobbly in there, like it gets stuck on one end versus the other. Uh, but this is the oh, the only thing that when I, instead of using my finger, I use this to push in the start or to pause it. Which I never used to touch the pause ever until I noticed some problems. Uh, so most of these buttons are always remain the same. Today I started it where I was at drain, but that's because the last time I did it, I was struggling between drain and rinse, and I should have brought it back to normal after turning it off. So let's see how well it does. And these are the buttons. Let me... This is how I typically have it set, which shouldn't affect anything, right? Keep it pretty simple. And there's the wash button, so it's doing its thing in washing now. So I'm going to pause this. So, so far, it's still on the first dial, which is normal, which is fine, okay? I know that when it starts to spit out the water, that it starts to overflow back in that little black drainage right there. I have to lift this slightly. So when I slide this, so watch, now it's happening. Watch, I got to go slow. I got to lift it. I got to lift my finger just like this, okay, uh, to control the flow so it could go down. Watch. Because I don't want to get an overflow. So I got to look out. When I see an overflow, I lift the thing up a little bit. So it's a good thing I figured that out. So I do need my cold clean. Okay, so far it's okay. overflow. Just now, just now, it just overflowed. Uh, let me put a watch. Oh, overflow. I don't know if you saw that. So it overflows fast. So this is a plumbing error. And I do have, um, I saw on TV a pump that I could pump out something out to disturb it, whatever is in the way. Watch, overflow. See that overflow? Overflow. So I have to keep doing this because obviously the drainage is not good. Overflow. Okay. I have to let it go down. Then I'll bring down the thing. I'm lifting that. I'm gonna lift it again because over overflow. See, I have to lift up. Lift it up. All right, so this is a problem that's not a problem with the machine, it's the drainage, but it just coincides that they both have a problem at the same time. Overflow. Stop. Okay, I have to lift it. But after I lift it, it starts to, to let out the water anyway. If I keep it lifted, it doesn't con con overflow, see? It doesn't continue. So this is a problem that I have, but Okay, so now now I brought the 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 little the lid down and now it's doing this. Wash is blinking now, right? It hasn't moved to super wash at all. So it's already letting out the water, but it's staying on normal. It's not going to super wash, it's not going to heavy duty, it's not going to bulky ice uh, or drain spin. It should be here. Okay? But this thing is not moving. Okay, so now we're discovering more things, okay? So now it's unlocked. This thing is blinking. It's not just the camera because sometimes the camera makes it look like it's blinking. This is not blinking, just so you know. This is blinking. Okay, so I'm not temp touching this anymore, right? Typically, this is funny. This is what stops the overflow. I just lift it like that. But when I let it down, then it goes again. Now it started again. Overflow, overflow. I gotta stop. 
Because if not, I'll get an overflow. See? And it starts again up by itself, even if I, I don't bring down the, the lid. So I got to bring it up just to control it. But if I keep it lifted, it's going to flow again, no matter what. I would have to turn it off. Overflow. See that? Ah! Ah! Okay, you see that? All these overflows. So lifting it up controls it, but not, not forever. I could keep it lifted up and it'll go back on by itself. Oh, overflow. I gotta let it down. Overflow. I gotta lift it. Every time I say overflow, I'm actually lifting it. I gotta lift it. Control it. So give it time to go down. Overflow. And I'm gonna have a little let me pull in my in my kitchen. Here we go. Overflow. Before it came. Overflow. So I always have to let it down because no matter what is going to drain again. It only helps me control it when I do this. Okay. Overflow. So I'm getting I'm getting water in my kitchen. Overflow. Here. But it's low enough that it probably won't give me an overflow anymore. So now all the water is out. But how many times did I say overflow? Even there were times that overflowed and I didn't say it. Okay, so now let's see what's going to happen now. Now it's supposed to spin. Now that all the water is out, all the excessive water. Okay, so now. Come on, come on. Come on. I got everything in the way. Nothing is blinking. Solid wash, solid lock. Uh, just tipping it like this. Oh, lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Overflow. Okay, so now it's letting out some water. Now it's bringing in water to rinse it, right? So hopefully no more overflow. So hopefully the machine knows better than to do both at the same time. Okay? All right, here we go. Oh, crying out loud. This is like... Really kind of scary here. Oh, oh no overflow, okay. I kind of hear overflow back there. I may have to lift it. I hear overflow kind of back there, even though it poured water into the machine. So as you can see, this dial is not working. It, it's doing other functions, but it stays on normal. Okay. This is the sweaty part. I gotta unlay myself. See, it's gonna overflow any minute. I'm gonna have to lift that lid again. Even though it's locked, it allows me to lift it a little bit so it can stop whatever it's doing. Overflow, it's coming, it's coming. Okay, so it's not that much water, that's why it didn't overflow. Thank God. This time, for the first time, it's spinning on its own. I need to get things out of the way. And, but this is not moving. It's still on normal, okay? That way, whoever comes to fix it has a full picture and they could probably just tell me how to remove the computer and mail it. Overflow, overflow, overflow. I gotta be careful. Not a lot of water. That's why it's not overflowing. Not a lot of water. Overflow. See? I lifted it. See, did you see that? Gotta give the water time to get down. So now I have it down. It's, the, oh, it, it's not coming back. So now it's probably gonna be stuck there for a while. Uh, because it got tired of me lifting the thing up. And there's water there because you saw some overflow, so there's plenty of water in there still. Man, this thing has me sweating because it's uh, got my nerves racking. I don't want to be stuck with it. Oh, I gotta lift that thing up as soon as I see the water coming up. So it's not spinning. The thing is, if it doesn't really spin, whoa, 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 whoa. I 
bad thing for to be doing this reaching over. At this point, it does, it's drained the uh, excessive water, so it won't overflow. I think. Now my back hurts because I'm leaning over. Okay, so it's trying to get itself to spin. It knows it's supposed to be on a spin cycle, and my kitchen is, is getting water all over the place. Uh, so... It's not moving to spin. I have to do it manually. So now what I have to do is my little operation. Okay, here's my operation. I gotta push this in and stop everything, right? And I'm gonna hold it to cancel, to cancel the whole thing. One, two, three. One, two, three, since I go fast. Okay, so now the computer is off, right? And I'm getting water on my feet. It's all underneath it. Okay, it's a good thing I have vinyl, but hopefully it won't go to my basement. So now, I'm going to turn this into drain. Okay, and I'm going to turn this on. And see if it obeys that it's under drain. And then hopefully it'll go to rinse and spin. So I'm no longer going to pour water in, so I'm going to close this. No more water. The water is now off. I just turned it off as you can see off off all right so now it's it knows it's supposed to uh hopefully it knows right do the drain or do the spin, rinse and spin and there's not enough water there anymore that i need to do the overflow thing i don't think now it's starting to spin i can i can feel it beautiful beautiful this is what I've been dreading doing. Oh, I gotta be prepared for the overflow. I don't think there's gonna be overflow anymore. It's not enough water. Okay. I'm not sure it actually let out enough water to create a rinse, but I'll take whatever I can get. I did put baking soda in there and lemon, a little fresh lips, freshly squeezed lemon. Come out clean. Okay, so now the machine is spinning. Uh, let's see if I could adjust this in here. Okay, the machine is spinning. It is spinning. Okay, finally. Finally, finally, finally. These things appear to be uh, blinking, but they're not. It's because the machine is, is moving, so the camera may or may not capture it sometimes as though it's moving. So now I think I'm going to be good because I see that it's spinning. I had a good control, good control of it, and I just need to get them off. But I do smell sewage water, so this is going to be for my plumber as well as... So now i got to move a lot of things here to dry it up. This is going to be for 